One of my favorite stores in New York City is Balloon Saloon. Check out what they did for the Olympics. That's awesome. I feel like I, I just, I have to be completely honest with you, and I need to warn you about today's episode. Let me take a shower. I mean, I'm not saying this to discourage you from watching. I think you should keep watching. I just feel like, as a matter of full disclosure, I have to let you know, before we get into the episode, what you're in store for. And don't think it's because of a lack of effort on my part. That, that's not it at all. I work equally hard on each and every upload. I just have a very strong feeling that today's episode is gonna suck. New York County juror summons. Today, today I've got jury duty. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! For those of you living outside of the United States or under the age of 18 or just don't know, jury duty is this thing that happens when you're an adult where you have to go and you serve on a jury to decide if someone's innocent or guilty. That's how the legal system works here. So when you get jury duty, you have to show up in court and if you don't do it, you go to jail. Now, this happens to be something I believe in. This is like, um, this is America. I think this is a just and fair system, but you have no say in this schedule. Like, I gotta go today or I'm in big trouble. I'm on the penny board because they're never gonna let me bring my boosted board in there. I'm also shooting on a point and shoot because they'll never let me bring my big camera in there. stairs where Barzini was shot in Godfather 1. His limo was waiting right here, and bam, they shot him as he was running up the stairs. I am 100% sure they won't let me film in there, so I'm gonna put this away now. All right, they took away my camera? But they didn't take away my cell phone, and they also didn't say that I couldn't, they didn't explicitly say I couldn't film, so I'm just gonna very gently try to capture some of this experience while respecting the need for privacy and discretion. Our lunch break, I'm going back to the office. That was not an enjoyable experience. For the brief time that I was in high school, I spent a lot of time in detention, and detention is exactly the same thing as jury duty. And I'm not talking about like the teacher's not looking. Well, well. So we all smoke pot and then have a dance party. And get locked in a closet with Molly Ringwald. Get back at each other. Kind of detention. I mean, like detention, like detention, detention, where you're being punished, detention. I feel like if I were ever in jail, I'd want to be on like a chain gang. When I'm on here, boss. I don't know if they still have those because at least I could then spend my time digging ditches. And but this, this is like this is. There's no ditches to dig. There's. This is just like it's like purgatory. You're just forced to sit there and do nothing. Look, I really, really do believe in doing my civic duty and being there. But let me just explain why I struggle so much with the idea of doing nothing. Now, I wake up every day, seven days a week, like between 4.45 and 5 a.m. And then I go to bed between like, I don't know if I'm lucky, 10.30, 11, more likely around midnight, midnight 30. And every minute from when I wake up at five or whatever till I go to bed at midnight or whatever, Non-stop, I'm permanently in go mode. The pedal is all the way on the floor. I am going full speed ahead. There's no relaxing, there's no downtime, there's no, there, it is full, it's just go. And my even broader perspective on life is to operate as if there's like a rabid, hungry, rabid wolf with like blood dripping from his face, just chasing after me all the time. And the minute I slow down, that wolf is just gonna devour me. 
to succeed, to accomplish what, what I hope to accomplish in life, it's really hard. And there are a lot of people trying to do the same thing. They're a lot smarter than me and have better resources than me and more access than me. And the only way I can compete is by working harder and doing more. And that's why like productivity and being efficient with my time is everything. See, hard work, working hard is my unfair competitive advantage. No matter what you have that I don't have, I can always compensate, I can always make up for that by working harder than the next guy. Hard work and tenacity. Just gotta keep working hard and never, ever, ever, ever stop. I'm doing a, a little construction project. Kind of a fun story behind it. The, the origins, the history of this studio goes all the way back to 2003. Whoa! Whoa. Goes all the way back to 2003. Now, in 2003, my brother Van and I worked together, and Van was in Germany for work, and it was my job to get us a studio before he got back from Germany. What I found was this space. There was a wall here, like this was a wall, and beyond here we didn't have, so it was just this room. Now, when we moved in here, we had no furniture. We had nothing. And on one of the mornings, like one of the first mornings here in the office, I drove by a dumpster outside of an elementary school. And in that dumpster were a whole bunch of children's chairs for their desks. And we got this chair and sawed off the back and turned it into this stool. And ever since then, like this has been my favorite stool ever. But the wood is like completely crumbling. So I'm just gonna fix it. Now, no matter what happens for the rest of my life, on this day, I will have accomplished something. This is the day that I repaired my stool. There it is. The Supreme Court of New York City. I'm done. Done. Look at this. Look at this. Jurors proof of service certificate. I did it. I fulfilled my obligation to society and I feel really good about it. You know what, and despite all my complaining, the people in there, like the administrators, the women, they were lovely. Really just lovely people. about this episode sucking. I mean, this morning was rough, but the afternoon was great, and then got to build that awesome chair and check out these awesome balloons outside of Balloon Saloon. Also, the, the countdown has really begun for the... What's up? I'm in the vlog. You're in the vlog. Hey, hey. <laughs> the countdown has really begun for all this travel that I've got coming up. Owen and I leave town in less than 36 hours. That's nuts. <laughs>